Yo, Romero, you're back again already? What's up? What's going on? Well, for starters, dude, put the gun down. Okay. Get that look out of your eyes. It's me. Just back to do some more vigor grinding. I've got some legacy seasons to get through before they go away, okay? There's a lot of cassettes out there I still need to find. Do you have any in that backpack, by the way? Do you have any? No, 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 no. I'm not going to try and take them from you by force. I just... If you don't need them, I'll take them. No? Okay. Oh, I wish I had been recording when it popped up on the screen. It's hilarious. One of the little tips that popped up down the bottom there. Some machine guns are too heavy to aim down sight while standing or crouching. Yeah, they're not too heavy to bounce around the map. You serious? No, let's not start the day off like that. It's going to be a good day in Vigor. Alright, we're going to get some daily quests done. We're going to hopefully find some more cassettes. I was watching one video back uh, last night while I was editing it together to upload it to YouTube. Um, I got three cassettes. Granted, one was in a safe. For some reason, someone left one behind. There was a dead dude outside the safe. I think he looted it. Someone came along, killed him, took his loot. But the guy that looted the safe and got killed hadn't taken the cassette out of there yet. And there was just a cassette and uh, some other thing still in the safe that left unclaimed. I hit it late and Battery Draugon was like, what the? Uh, what's up with that? It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Let's see what these dailies are. Smoky flavour, pill popping, silent but deadly and nailed it. Let's see what they're all about. Ah, uh, dude, you're in your around the house clothes. Get changed. Ooh, check the charity box for your reward. I got me reward. Gold crate, baby. But I'm not opening it. Saving them up. I've got to find out if you get XP double XP for opening crates or not. And for completing seasonal challenges. If not, then there's no point stockpiling them, right? So what should I do first? Q? I should Q. You're going to go out in your little round house clothes. You're going to get changed. You can't wear that. Alright, we'll queue first. First things first, gotta check what the dailies are, because that might determine where we go. Craft a smoke grenade. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Use three painkillers. That I could probably do. Kill two outlanders with a melee weapon. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. I've tried it once. The first swing when I'm standing right in front of the dude didn't even hit register. I suppose this is um, pre-patch, uh, pre-new season. And then the next two hits, I think, took bugger all off of the dude before he killed me. He was just he was trying to troll me, going, hey, hey, but chasing me around the map. So I was like, bugger you, I'm going to take out my knife and take a couple of swings. You're just going to kill me eventually anyway. Uh, loot. 300 nails? 300 nails? What? I'll give it a shot. Okay. That's what we're doing. And of course, don't point up. Grinded through here to get a couple of lots of 75 coins. Got to get up to like level 19 or 22, maybe 19. And by then we'll have... Two lots of 75 coins along the way. That's what we're doing. So where are we going to go? Nails. Nails. Got to be a Myron, right? No, we're not doing zero to heroes, okay? We're not trying that today. We tried that yesterday. But we're going to try that another day. Today, we need to nail it. All right. What have we got to do? Consume some kind of pills or some crap? Hello. Yeah, three painkillers, okay. Do I have any? I got fifteen of the bastards. Let's take one in. Myron. You changed. Alright, you can't go out looking like that. It's ridiculous.
No, not the panty liner ones. These ones. Yeah. Okay. Gotta put that on if you're going to Myron. Now whack on your little fight clubs, strip gloves. There we go. Now you look a bit better. So I need to upgrade this shelter again, maybe? Has my toilet finish upgrading? Ooh, has it stopped leaking? That's right. Romero was fixing it while I was away. The plumber did a busted ass job when I left him in charge the first time. I can head there and check it now. Maybe Romero did a better job. Do your little farm build duties. What have we got? Uh, the door looks a bit better. That's about it. Romero, mate. I mean, you've, you've slightly fixed the door, made it a little more private, I suppose. Oh, what else have we got in here? Some thick three shells. There's three shells in the outhouse. <laughs> uh, we are heading to Myron. Looking like a bit of a demolition man. <laughs> and no one knows what the three shells are for. <laughs> okay. That's a nice little touch. Whoever put that in the game. That's a nice one. I like that. Alright. I shall be back in a minute. Just gotta go make another coffee. Hopefully by then we'll be loaded into Myron. Myron. No 10 minute wait this time. I wasn't able to make a coffee in time. Had the rush back. It's only a couple more minutes. Nails. I need a bunch of nails. Find those in those little uh, flip open toolboxy containers usually. I know a good spot where I can head for those. Probably. Well, of course, there's the center of the map, but they usually stick to safe and crap there. Dude's level 50 already. The season's only a couple of weeks old, so. Yeah. You're gonna have to watch out for this bloke here. Or he's just a crate hoarder and he popped them all off at the start of the season to uh, level up nice and quick. You can buy level 50 though, that I don't get. You can actually buy levels. It's insane. Okay, we're away from all the dangerous stuff. I might be able to get up here to the NATO camp, which is where I was thinking ahead, and might even be able to get into the center of town. I should hit up a comm station on the way, stealth the thing, I might find a red crate. It's probably a spawn point over there, so gotta be careful. Electronics, man. I was hoping to find uh, nails in there. I don't know why. I think I was thinking of. I don't think I've ever been. Oh, yeah, might have been across that little bridge. Okay, so much we get into a calm station. Someone's probably going to beat me to it. No, 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 don't dial the phone, you idiot. I just, like, spam square when I see square things. Oh, which reminds me. I've got interactive hints turned off. So it's probably loot that I've missed. And I think you've done a pretty good job. Thanks, Romero. Talk to my bloody self again. 
I'm not. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to everyone watching. Alright. Um. Okay, do I hit this camp? I want this... I don't know where I was going to go. I want that comm station. I want to stealth the drop in case I find a uh, doobie wobber. Red crate. Yeah, I'm going this way. station up there randomly in the middle of nowhere. Now I've only got to loot the nails, right? I don't have to get out with the bastards. Okay. I do have to use a painkiller. Okay, there's not much loot around, which has me worried. I squeeze, yes, thank you. There is, that's like, sounds like the exact same spot a dude was sitting and sniping from yesterday. Is there a little favourite snipey snipe spot that people sit in? Seems like it, man. I love the snow. It's a nice touch. Thought there was a dude sitting in there. There is so much non-loot. But like, there is nothing in here, man. Compared to usual. Hello. 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 That's why. You're hiding in here. You're hiding in here. Well, you're not so... Okay, that's probably the comm station that was going to be the one that I headed to, I'm guessing. Nails. 30. Nice. Remember, you don't have to get out with them. It's all good. I used to do these early on when I had loot so many of this, loot so many of that. I used to panic when I'd uh, grab the stuff thinking I've got to get out with it, I've got to get out with it. Now I know you don't. But it still would be nice. 102 metal parts, like that's stuff that's going to go towards shelter improvements. It's not like I'm going to be able to carry much more trying to head into the centre of town, you know what I mean? So you found yourself a nice little blue box. You know what I mean? It's it's time to go. That's good supplies. Use your paint. I found a crossbow as well. There was a crossbow in that bloody thing. That'll be my second one. A little souvenir. I need fall damage. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. It's the only way you're going to be able to use any heals in this game 99% of the time. If someone shoots you, you're dead. It's not like you can actually use a heal. Uh, it'd be very random if someone was camping this exit. There's nothing over here, so... one over here would be someone trying to rotate around. 
which happens. Look at me. Can't help yourself, can you? You can't bloody help, help yourself. What if there's something good in there? You've got good stuff. What are you doing? You can't bloody help yourself. You're not collecting wire. I'm getting car alarms. Get out of here. there's someone over there. Like I said, very random spot. But it might happen, and it did. See, you get exit campers everywhere, man. What's he doing over there? Huh? What's, what's he doing? The plane is near. Get ready for the airdrop. Thinking that whoever is getting the airdrop might have to go that way because of this one being camped. I just think I need to crawl on my belly around and see if I get those crows again. You bastard. Whoever you are, over there, you're a bastard. Maybe he's just over here looting and he was going to rotate around. But I don't buy it. Let's see where this airdrop drops. I don't want to be on this road. I'm try and head down here. It's gotta just be a looter, right? Why the hell would you be camping that? You might have heard those crows and went, oh no! Just like I did. Someone's dealt it and they picked it up already. They're prop. Oh no! There they go. Yeah, go that way. So this idiot, if he is camping it, looking for someone that picks it up, it will bugger off. Okay, is he getting out? Someone's hitting the time safe, late, loot container, all that jazz. Whoever spawned up here got some nice loot. Just get out what we got. No point heading up here looking for another blue box. Is he gone? He's gone. Okay, well I'm going to try and push back here. Surely whoever's there now is like, yeah, no, no point, I'm leaving. Or even that one, because he just exited out of there just fine. A portable detector revealed my location. That's the guy that was camping back there, I'm hoping. I'm going to die to one of these tools today. Has to be the guy that was camping that, right? And he had wanted to see where I was? Unless it's someone all the way over here. Wanting to loot that, and I'm the only other person left on the map. <laughs> you son of a... Are you freaking serious? Are we all just camping exits? What a load of tools, man.
got a load of tools. See, there. Are, I've come across two people in this lobby, obviously. That uh, just camp exits. There are some low lifes in these outlands. Close my mind. I'm not giving you an iodine tablet so you can get out. That's for sure. to the freaking people that are still hanging around in the center of the map too. They've got to be still over there fighting over what? The loot locked container? But they sound further away than that. I mean closer than that. Like I expect this kind of behavior on Sagbrook. People sit in bushes at the exit. But Myron? I have seen people with spectator cam that have sat on rocks at some of the exits, I suppose. I just can't remember which ones. some low lives in this outlands I think he was the same dude I'm hoping he went across there because he knew I ran away from this exit Oh, you put a contact bomb right there. See that crap? I reckon it's the same dude. And they outwitted him. Sucked in, buddy. Same dude. When I ran off from that exit, he expected I'd rotate to the next one. So he rotated around low. But I was up, seeing where that guy was going with the airdrop. So that's why the guy with the airdrop got out safe. Or, and he was probably camping that exit for the person who picked up the airdrop. But they ran to the other one. So he was sprinting over there to try and get me. Because he missed getting the guy that got the airdrop. Because he got moved from the centre of town and moved closer to that other exit. Yeah. He was a little camper. And then he laid a contact bomb down there. For anybody that tried to rotate back around to that exit, hoping to catch him, and he nearly did. I heard a little fuse going, Pshh. went all oh, crap. There's a contact bomb here somewhere, and there it was. Rotate around it. What a prick! It sucked in, pal. I got myself nearly 2,000 XP. Level 11. I mean, when you can outwit, a, which I suppose isn't hard to outwit an exit camp. All they do is spawn into a map and sit at an exit because they don't know how to play the game any different. But that was nice. So that's why I was laying low. I didn't want to just automatically sprint to that other exit because there might be someone else over there and I wanted to see what this guy behind me was going to do and the guy with the airdrop which way he was going to go because he was going to attract attention. And then when he left that exit, I'm like, yeah, well, he got out there safe. No one's going to push to that exit now. What's the point of that? But that guy that was after me rotated around the bottom to get there. Sucked in, pal. What'd I get? What'd I get? 
Oh, kettle's boiling. A different combat helmet. Okay. Switching. So I'm gonna have to level up that preppers eventually. So he starts pointing at the sky. Oh, I'm gonna get this coffee. Let's hope the rest of the day goes as good as that. I shouldn't have said that, but I just want to avoid the toolies today. That's all. Be nice. Another crossbow, <laughs> which I haven't tried out in the shooting range yet. It's just to see how good it is. I'll fix this mic back up. I say let's hope the rest of the day goes as good, but uh, I'm thinking of going a battery snow decked. Nails, right? Maybe I'll find a lighter in a bunker. But if I'm going to go there, I've already unloaded all my gear. But I've got to take something at least in case someone tries to come up into the bunker and take what I've got from me. I need something to defend myself. Let's just take a little sawn off shotgun. Just in case. Oh, painkillers. Painkillers, 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 painkillers. Painkillers, 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 painkillers. You know what? I'm going to take, in case I want to hang around late to try and get out alive. The problem with this map now is they've locked all the exits like Battery Drug. It's just Battery Drug with snow, which it was before, but at least its exits were open. Uh, yeah. Now they've gone and locked them all. It's kind of. Except the bottom one, like Battery Drug. Ooh, you know what you need. You know what I mean? Yeah. In case anyone tries to come into the bunker while I'm looking for this lighter, I'll take a couple of those. Alright. Snow decked. Where's my. Sh Ooh. That's what I forgot. When you're carrying the sawn off shotgun, it doesn't show on your body. I think that's why a couple of days ago that, that guy was hanging around that area when I ran off away from the safe and he sort of showed up there he was a green coat I think but then he was so cocky and confident and kept hanging around and wouldn't bugger off after he stole my safe from me because he looked at me and went he doesn't have a weapon it's a sneaky weapon to carry because people think you're unarmed and then I go over to him like hey surprise I've got a sawn off shotgun you're not taking my safe from me <laughs> I was here first um, well, I got that new yellow helmet, don't I? Let's check it out. Headwear. So it just says different skin for the same helmet. It's all scuffed. Like he's been through the wars. It's all scuffed and dirty. Just come back from the Outlands. It's pretty bright yellow, though. You look like a giant dandelion. Camouflaged. Dandelion. Camouflaged. Dandelion. Hey everybody! See that guy over there with the bright yellow helmet? <laughs> yeah, we all see him. Leave the green one on. Alright. Ooh, what are you doing dude? We're heading to snow decked. Can I get it on in time? Can I get it on? Gotta wear the, uh, you know, the snow gear. There we go. That's better. That's better. Make use of your snow outfit. Nice and camouflaged. Respirator, because we're going to be trying hanging around late into the radiation. Battery snow decked. Since last here, seems they changed the map, changed the locales, changed the locations, changed the spots, changed the what you where you were, changed. They changed stuff. Now all the exits are locked except the bottom one, like Battery Draug, and it's just as deadly. Why did they do that? No one knows. Because they think it's funny. Oh crap, man. Really? What? You're gonna put me in these lobbies today? Is that some, this is how it's gonna go down? Right, you're gonna put me in here with the Joker. Okay, and the Riddler. And Dr. Freeze. Or is it Mr. Freeze? Uh, actually, they both look like Mr. Like that one probably looks more like Mr. Freeze. Look, like, really? 
Hold on, Batman. <laughs> yeah, no, that's Batman. There's Batman. We've got Batman, the Riddler, Joker, Mr. Freeze. Um, I don't know what that guy's name is. I'm sure people that are more into uh, the DC Universe might know who that guy looks like. Well, this map isn't bad enough as it is. I'm stuck in here with these guys. I, I can't hit any of the bunkers now. Nails. I don't know if I'm going to get all these nails, man. Frosty the snowman was a frosty little dude. And I knew that was going to happen. Why, oh why? Because it's really rude. Well, now you're screwed, bud. Might as well use that. There we go. Yes, that's the third for the day. Because I used one in a raid previous to this. But it didn't count. It didn't make the cut. I went to Fisk. And uh, basically had to hide the entire time. For freaking 15 to 19 minutes. Because there were too many psychos. And... Tried to walk out late and died to radiation yet again on that stupid ass map on the eastern side with an exit you can't get out of because there's never any fuel. So there was no point uploading it. It was going to be very long and boring and unrewarding. I'm starting to really hate that Fisk map. They've got to change that exit on the far eastern side. Because I reckon this is what happens. I reckon whoever goes into Fisk and gets that right spawn and they're a psycho. They sprint up the road, collect all the fuel, run back down to the bottom exit and camp it on that eastern side of the map. So they just camp there with all the fuel in their pocket, knowing that no one can exit out the other one because there's never any fuel around. Or there's just never any fuel around on the map because they didn't think to put fuel on the map. We need it to escape through a uh, boat extract. Like I know when I come up here, like you just saw then, I found some fuel next to a vehicle. There's a ton of vehicles on the eastern side of Fisk, down the road. No fuel around, tents and everything. So either they forgot to actually put some down there, the devs, or like I said, some guy sprints up, collects it all, runs back, camps the exit. Which wouldn't surprise me. Okay, signal detector was used by some dude. Why? He wants to see where the time safe dude is. Maybe. That's going to get moved for sure. I should have used my jammer as soon as I freaking spawned in. That's what you've got to do, man. Always forget. Then I wouldn't have got spotted. I gave myself away with a bloody car alarm anyway. Guaranteed this is going to get moved late down here. 100% so oh, Jesus just when I thought I'll go that way every time I think oh, I'll go this way I swear like someone shoots their gun. I suppose it's better than heading that way and then someone shoots their gun at you. There's got to be a lot of people dying right now. Surely. I think I just keep looting. I want to know where one person is. That's what I want.
Hey troll, I already got all your buddies, I don't need you either, so... Sorry, I haven't got time to play. I don't get XP for collecting you guys anymore, so... Did I bring in... I didn't bring in a bloody knife. Must be getting two Outlander kills with a knife, like that's gonna happen. I can't believe that airdrop hasn't been moved. I can't believe that airdrop hasn't been moved, it's so weird. The signal detector down there, no one moved it down there. So they can see if anyone was, I suppose, they're useless as a drop, aren't they? <sighs> Try and sprint across the map and get this cache, I suppose. Um, there's no real other reason. If I die, some dude's going to get my radiation tablet and make good use of it. See the footsteps? It would be cool if they were actual footsteps. To let you know someone has sprinted through here. But I think they're just... You know, for looks. Someone's sitting, someone's sitting over on top of the, uh, how did they climb up there? I swear that someone's sitting over on top of that, uh, anti-aircraft cannon. Maybe. Looking around. Am I seeing things? I think I'm seeing things. I wanted to come in through the front door of this place, but I think it's around the other side, damn it. I think I'm seeing things. I am f Airdrop incoming. Get ready. Flabbergasted no one moved that bloody thing, man. That's a word you don't hear every day. Flabbergasted. quiet in here, isn't it? It's not glass I need today, eh? Why can't I collect the potatoes? Never lets me collect those. Okay. Someone already got it? Jeez, man. Um, I do not have electronics. I'm just going to try and hit this cash because... At least I get something out of being here today. Don't let the killer 
escape. They have been marked as a threat. You son of a... Okay, that's whoever got the airdrop trying to run out. I don't know why they went that way. Him, and then one, two, three, four. There's only two other people on the map. Um, do I have wire? He's just camping the bloody time safe. He's just sitting there as you're looting that guy's body, probably. Did he hear me right now? That's the question. Where's he going? He's just sitting there. Really weird. Someone's in here with a jammer? What? In this light? Why? Weird. Can you pick up the airdrop? And if you're in a jammer, it jams that signal as well. I've never actually thought of that as a possibility before. Someone picked it up. Can you jam? Okay, you left by that exit. Good, I can get out for free. Can you jam? The airdrop signal. I've got two red iodine pills, so I thought I might as well hang around. Yes, I'm being stupid right now. I probably should leave. Because the radiation gets stronger the longer you're here. Is this the bunker I was in earlier? I think it is. Yeah, damn it. I was supposed to go the other one. Don't have time. Let's get out of here now. It might be interesting to look into. If you can actually block the airdrop signal with a jammer. This is all XP now. This is, uh, would have been nice to be able to get some actual stuff. 
but it's pretty much you get out on this map alive. That's a win. I'm not out alive yet. So you gotta bring in ten iodine tablets. Basically you gotta just stock up on iodine tablets and by then all the good loot's gone anyway. Just a lowly little rat popping iodine pills, then that, that like you have ten iodine pills and you're trying to hang around just for the scraps that people don't take at the end. I don't even know if that lighter is on that map. It says smoke in a bunker, so I'm assuming it can be on battery drug or snow decked. But we can safes in those locations and the freaking signal detector around the other one and it's just hard to get and the airdrop over the top of the other one. Twelve nails. Hey, we got the uh, pill popping one done. I think... Yeah, I'm not going to grind out 300 nails. That's bloody ridiculous. That is bloody ridiculous, Ada. You expect me to try and find 300 nails? Okay, every other bastard is out there taking nails. There are people killing people for them. No thanks. <sighs> Kill two outlanders with a melee weapon in this... In this... In these outlands, Ada. You're not killing anyone with a melee weapon. You're not going to get close to anyone with a melee weapon. They're just going to whip around on you. You're dead. So, I think maybe if I find a crafty bit for a smoke grenade. Um, unless I try and find some blue boxes and hope I get nails out of it instead of metal parts. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Let's see, where should we go then? I'm going to try Brodelin. Brodely Bridges. There's lots of wooden houses around there, right? Maybe there's some nails in them. There's one that's not even nailed together properly down the bottom end of the map, so probably won't find them there. Alright, what are we taking in? Just a shotgun again? Yeah. Yeah. That loadout looks pretty good to me. I could take in 20 uh, iodine tablets. I mean, there are people that have got to be doing that. Like... You hear people hanging around so late. There are people taking in five bloody iodine tiles. Probably stealing everyone else's. Is probably why. I wonder what's the max you can take. Ah, you can only take in a max of three. But if you find other people's by killing them, that's how people are hanging around for so long. Brodelin. Let's go get changed, buddy. Stand out a bit too much for Brodelin. I think they've got to make it three kills and you become a threat. Then you could have multiple threats on the map instead of the threat. Okay, if you kill three people, you're a killer. If you kill two people, maybe even, but three, we'll say three. Then you could have a couple of people that are, you know be marked as a threat. So you've got a map of 12 and one dude kills four people and he's marked a threat. So that's five people counted for. And then you got another person. He would be number six. He could theoretically kill four people as well. And then would you have two threats on the map? You could have two guys that have killed four people each. So, including themselves and four people is five. And someone else including themselves and four people is five. That's ten people. So on a map of twelve, even on a map of ten, you could have two threats. Or does the second guy not get marked as a threat? Can that happen? Still so many unknowns. Um, outfit dude. What are you going to wear to Brodelin, okay? Get your little old leather jacket on. Now we're a warlord now, that's right. Go on the warlord look. Maybe we just leave the helmet at home today. Don't really need it. What are you going to wear? 
We need to find a ton of wire, so you need something that's going to carry a bunch of wire. Okay. Maybe we go the outdoor rucksack? No, we've only got the snowy one. Something leather. It's not going to get pierced by wire. So the woolen bag will get pierced. He'll get what? Let's go the sailor bag. There's some nails. A ton of them. Hello? There we go. There it is. Have a snack. Play some darts. That'd be cool if you could do that. And uh, we'll wait for Brodelin. Brodelin Bridges. Need to get another drink. I need some nails. Give me this bottom map spawn. If you're going to stick me up the top near that freaking big farmstead, don't leave the uh, signal detector and the loot container and the airdrop and... <laughs> Alright. I don't want to be defending myself against five people. Maybe just one. Someone's looking for some playtime, eh? Alright, we'll stay out of my room. It's my twin brother. It's a bit incestuous. There's our other brother. No one talks about him. Alright. It's the black sheep of the family. What are you talking about? You're the black sheep of the family. True. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright, little orange coat uh, brother over there should be hard. Yeah, see? Every bloody time, man. Every bloody time. This spawn, and I think, cool, I can loot up this area, and they stick this freaking airdrop over here. Oh, I've got a shotgun to defend myself if anyone comes in. Got a jammer I'm going to lay down. It's going to get straight into the house. Oh, this house is broken too? Are you serious? What the hell? This late after the patch, they're not fixing this crap? After the... No. After the uh, season update and this stuff is still in the game. I thought it was just the bottom end of the map <laughs> that had issues. We got another house up here. So I haven't been able to get to this area since they uh, put the new season out. There's nothing here, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are they going to fix it anytime soon? You know what else is unbelievable? No, not really. That the uh, one area you think is going to be some good loot. A lot of buildings. And you can't find any. What a busted ass map this has become, too. Wow. Okay. Well, um, kind of screwed. Someone used a portable just then. I'm, I'm guessing they couldn't have used that one again so quick. Someone's up here popping a portable. So I should hear some footsteps. They're going to loot all the houses that actually have loot in them, and then leave. Let's try something.
Oh, you freaking moron. I didn't know it was going to arc like that. I had a feeling, I thought I'd better be careful this doesn't arc up high. Um, but I was like, nah, the little green arrow didn't move when you held down the R2 button, it's not going to arc. You're safe. Little, little uh, green little arc button didn't, didn't arc upwards. You're safe. Unbelievable. There's nothing in here. Except some radiation now. The one house that was probably going to have some loot in it for me. It's busted. <laughs> uh, sometimes I amaze myself. I really do. something. Like a contact bomb just to my north. Inside. Oh, that's the tent I came out of. I don't know. Maybe not. Dude, I'm stocking up on nails, I tell you. Stocking up on those nails. they got to stop putting so many of them in the Outlands. It's a bit of an advantage to those that are looking for them. There's just too many nails. Somebody's been through that building and they've laid a contact bomb in there. And they could even still be in there. They're defending themselves. For anyone coming through... And they're going to try and hit that airdrop, I'm guessing. Oh, I found 14 nails. <laughs> Just another 150 to go. Sorry, 250. I'm taking a rough estimate there. Another random Morse code signal. <sighs> I mean, I don't know, man. Is someone going to be exit camping? Probably. Probably. I'm really just stuck up this end of the map now. Can't push that way to Psycho. Could try and come this way, maybe past the disruptive tower. Someone's probably sitting on that, getting ready to use it late. Uh, how long has it been? It's been, it's, yeah, that drop's going to be coming any second. I'm going to go north. That was someone running, and it's a creaky door. I'm just curious if anyone's sitting up here camping this exit.
Airdrop incoming. Get ready. Hey, I got 73 nails. This is where they keep them all. This is where they keep them all. I know it. No? Oh, okay, it's one of those little things. It's a weird. Oh, yeah, loot container. Yep. Let's get eyes on this. Maybe no one's going for it. It's pretty close by. Probably the location. I don't think I've ever been into that area. With all the felled logs. That's a uh, very open location. How far is this? Can you see anybody? I think it's all the way up on the hill, just on the other side of this clearing. There it is, right there. That for sure is going to be camped. I don't like that. I don't like that. Where do you reckon they've got eyes on it from? I'm going to find out. Someone's probably sitting over the left hand of this road thinking if he grabs it, I'll just run to whatever exit he runs to. If I have my jammer still, do I? No, I don't. Could have tested out my little theory. Hey, we got something. In five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Wasn't a total bust. It is really, because those airdrops are useless. Is which <laughs> why nobody goes for them unless they don't have a choice. They just want to get something. But I get XP for it. Which is the goal. Level up this uh, season legacy. Get these coins that I need to buy another one. Irradiated myself, man. What haven't I done in this game? I've set three traps off on myself in a game before. Um, I've stepped on my own contact bombs. Now I've irradiated myself. I have done that before, but that's because I've thrown the grenade a distance at somebody, and it's actually got a pretty wide radius, and it's gotten me still. 
Uh, but in that case where I'm trying to throw a grenade at a building across from me because I think someone's over there probably after they popped a portable to find me. And it hits the friggin' ceiling. Insane. Hey! You got something, bud. 2200 XP. So yeah, 500 for retrieving the airdrop. You loot it, you get 500. Which is a start. I don't think I've ever failed one of those... Uh, uh, booby-trapped drops yet. And then you retrieve it, you get 500. So there's a 1000 XP bonus. What have I got now? 73 out of 300 nails. It is, it's not going to happen. I'd have to grind for another... Three or four hours. So we're going to give that one a miss. If I can find a cache and get a smoke grenade out of it, maybe? What, um... There's a free smoke grenade. See so it? One, I oh, three. Three free smoke grenades if you can get to level 19. I was hoping to see a smoke grenade plan in here somewhere, but it's probably like right at the end of the season, I'm guessing. And someone's already paid for. I still haven't seen a smoke grenade be used yet. Smoke grenade plan. Level 44. Level 44. So I don't think I'm getting that one either. Do one more run. Okay, we've got Sagbrook up here twice. It's glitched out again. One of them's an elimination or a shootout. Yep. Nearly got me. Nearly got me to play a mode I don't want to play. Nearly. Not going out again. It's ridiculous. Uh, Sagbrook. Yep, that's where we're going to go. Okay. No need to take three Eidolon tablets on this map. It's not that big. Probably won't even bother taking one. I will take one of those, though. I'm going to get one crafting while I'm gone. Okay. One more. We'll go to Sagbrook. try and find a ton of nails. If I can find a hundred nails, this is the plan, alright? This is this is what's happening. If I find one hundred nails in Sagbrook, then I'll do another run. If not, it's just not going to happen. I might, maybe I'll get the Foreman's House spawn and I can get a blue box and it'll have a ton of nails in it. Uh, where else? We've got the downed power poles, maybe. Uh, maybe I'll find some smoke grenade crafty bits in a cache. Because it won't be in those lockers down the bottom of the map. The fishermen's quarters or whatever it is, because that's only crappy white weapons like uh, low-grade shotguns. Knives, probably. Yeah, they're only low-grade weapon parts in those lockers. So, blue box... Or a cache. 100 nails or bust. Romero was standing by the side of the road waiting to go to Sagbrook. Thought he would be there for a while. He was surprised when the pickup showed up early. It's only been a couple of minutes, he said. Which is highly unusual for the pickup. He knows something must be up. I'm betting, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's a couple minute wait to get into a lobby. I just, I, I just had a bad feeling. Got a bad feeling about this. Got a bad feeling about this. Yep. Sprinty, sprinty, jumpy, jumpy, heavy machine gun Easter bunny. See, that's why he's wearing the Easter bunny outfit. That makes sense. He's uh, definitely a troll wearing the Easter Bunny mask because he knows he can bounce around like one with a heavy machine gun so and I'd say that there possibly could be his buddy probably queuing into a map together you get into a map with only a minute and a half to two minute wait there's there's some teams coming in you're not trying to queue up with random solos I mean, there's a group in here for sure So there's going to be some suspect action going on. Someone spawned right there. They're going to sprint the signal detector, pop me in the head before I can use it. 
sign Biden. It'll be sprinty, sprinty, jumpy, jumpy for sure. Mr. Bunny Man. Let's see someone else use it before I do. down the road trying to loosen his load. Is he getting closer? Hopefully he buggered off because he went off someone's already there. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Shut the freaking door. Let's make it worth his while. Let's make, make, make him earn it. Popping a portable looking for me. Here he comes. Not in here looking for loot, just looking for kills. He's probably already got somebody that's uh, spectator camming me, so he knows where I'm at. So he'll try and push around, and try and get an angle. He'll just hang around. He knows I'm in here because the jammer's there. He heard the jammer. He knows he can just wait for me to have to push out. When the jammer single signal goes away, he'll pop another portable. Because there's too many friggin' notifications for these pricks in this game. Because he's got a little red thingy on his compass so he knows he's being jammed. He'll just wait till it goes away, pop a portable, see where I'm at. Or pop the on-map signal detector actually. He's probably just going to go sit on it. But he'll be look looking this way in case I try and leave. run very far he's still right here he's just over here somewhere not looting up not uh, hitting any alarm traps or contact bombs just waiting for the jamming signal to go away and then he'll pop the signal detector because that's the kind of player that gets the rewards Alright. 
I'm going to get ready basically just to run to that exit when he pops the signal detector. Hope I don't trip up on these rocks. Why no crow noise? We're pretty close to that exit. When he ran down here, and I'm here, no crow alert? That's weird. Here we go. Pop the signal detector, dude. I know you're still here. Or he's just gone straight to the exit to camp it. What do you reckon? Staying down there, just out of reach. Sucked in, buddy. You didn't get me. See you, dipshit. Outwitted another one. I so wanted him to come down there and investigate that jammer sitting there. I would not be surprised if someone was telling him don't. A little voice in his ear. Not his own. Someone else's. A little voice. Don't do it. He's down there. He's got eyes on it. Wouldn't be a surprise. Jeez, do I bother doing another one? Those are the calibre of players I've got to deal with. I don't know. Yet again, spawn right on a really good loot area. Do I get to take advantage of it? Nope. I did get to the signal detector first though, which surprised me that no one was uh, already ADS in it. Maybe they were. They were standing on the road just ADS in it, but I, they couldn't see me because I was on my belly snaking over to it because I learned my lesson. Um, but it, you know, it didn't stop them coming in that direction. Someone used the signal detector, you, you know, anyone else would be like, crap, someone's over there, they, they know I'm coming. No, they, they don't care. They don't care. They're, just, they're still going to rush your location and try and hunt you down. The reason they have no fear is because the gunplay's broken. And they just abuse it. Okay. Sagbrook again. Fjallkanten. If I get that uh, church spawn. That's where we go on. Phil Compton. If I can get spawned up near the Church of Suda and open three lock boxes full of nails, it might be all I need. Could be my lucky day. Because it hasn't really been going your way so far, but it's been a bit of a bloody bust. One useless airdrop. Couldn't even loot up that area because they haven't fixed another broken house on that map. I want to know if I go into that house if I become invisible. That's all. I, pan I went in there and thought, you know what, the airdrop's happening up here. What if someone else is in here and you can't see them? Because I know you can't see any furniture in that house from the one that's on the south end of the map. If you go into it, you can see out. I could have sat in that building and seen people running around. Maybe that's why people stay away from there now. I don't know. You can go into that building now and the one on the south end of the map. You can see out but no one can see in. It's like a they got uh, one-way mirror walls. It's weird. So I could have just sat in there the whole time and went, 
Looked around, looked around, yet no one's here. Cool, let's go get this airdrop. It was close to the airdrop, right? Don't know. <sighs> Romero. It's been a bit of a bust of a day, bud. It's been one of those days. At least you've outwitted two idiots. So there is that. Falcanton. Falcanton, while the little doggo seems to want to play or go to the toilet. Take him out when this raid's done. Hopefully I come out of here with 300 nails. 250 will do it. 250. <laughs> See what happens. Nice night time. Encounter would be good. Would be good. Easier to keep your head down. Jeez, did another one just come in late? Are you serious? Damn. Nowhere near where I wanted to be. By the time I get there, it's all going to be gone. This is the busted spawn that I get way too often. I s like, spawn area is so crap. There's nothing over here. Stop putting 12 people on a map. Stop giving me busted ass spawns. <laughs> yeah, this is the last one for the day. There's a dude right there. Loot him. Here he comes. There's a guy above me as well. Are you serious? Sorry, buddy. I didn't like the way you were running around. Now the question is... Is that the guy that was over here... Coming this way? Because that guy sounded like he came down from up top. I killed a poor little green coat. Probably the one that came in last. I just... <sighs> kind of feel bad. I kind of feel bad. Do other people feel remorse when they kill poor little green coats? No. I'm sorry, bud. Okay. But don't go sprinting around. It sounded like wood, didn't it? It didn't sound like it came down from up here. It sounded like he was coming across a wooden bridge, but at the same time it sounded like he was coming down from up top. It's really weird. Sometimes you find a little red crate, or have once before, in this little uh, sky area. The fact that so many people, once again, spawns in this game are broken. How big this map is, and we've got like four or five people over here. So I can't even uh, open my eyes after spawning in without some bloke running at me from the other side of the uh, bridge. You know what I mean? I spawn in on this huge map, and there's a guy right next to me. There's a guy right here. Twelve people is just too many, man. Yeah, no, I did find a red crate up here once. Dummy cash. Might as well knock one of those out. Now I'll find a cash key. And this one will be dug up by me and I won't be able to use it. What else can I do? Rotate around. No, they're going to be looking to head that way after they grab that time safe. is in my little area that has the two dummy caches. 
Ah. Ah. I think I just keep heading this way. There's really, like, this, the loot on this map. The POIs. It's a sniper's paradise because people can just go lay down somewhere. And hope someone crawls along trying to find some loot on a road. Com station in that house. That always gets hit. And you're running down the road to get there. Down the hill, I should say. I'll get spotted by somebody. I think I just keep going around the outskirts. Maybe push up through this area. That's the spawn I wanted. To get these nails that I need. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Save it for when I get down near the, uh, actually reload this Mosin. Might be able to get a look at somebody from a distance. Okay. Someone's up on the crashed helicopter. That could be dead because someone watered it. Oh, we got a little secret stash here. Nice. Nice. Is this what I mean? Like, it's been such a big map, unless you know where all of these locations are that actually have something in them that aren't marked. You could easily come out of this map with nothing unless you spawn on top of the Church of Suda. <laughs> Shoot them easy. I didn't hear a bullet hit near me. Good thing about this gun is it doesn't have a glint. Don't even think I'm in the right spot to get an eye on that. Yeah, dude, you're gonna hit that. What are you doing? Is that it way up there? Here, look, if I had a scope. I think that, that's it right there. Way up on the hill. Imagine hitting that shot. Is that it? I think... I think that's it. I think that's it. No glinty glint being given away by me. Imagine going poof, and hitting a Mosin shot from here. A headshot it'd have to be to do anything. <laughs> All right, well, what's the reason for hanging around, bud? Unless you're going to hit this house, you might as well just go. Cash key I was talking about. Cash probably would have been the one I dug up and been able to, Yeah, you idiot, man. That's the thing, you dig up the dummy caches and it's for a seasonal and everything, but... Someone for sure has already been there, right? Get out the window. And don't glitch out, okay? Can I actually swap weapons? This will be the test. Okay, it's not bugged. Good. The plane is near. Get ready for the airdrop. Hello? Just a friendly little looter here. Okay. I'm not interested in, you know, killing anybody. Well, don't mind that green coat up the road, okay? That was an accident. I didn't like the way he was moving. <sighs> I 
just go check over here. Nails, they're going. Oh, geez. Ooh, 17. Now watch this next one. Almost halfway there. Let's try this other shed. spot for someone to be up here shooting. What are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? Why are you up there? Who are you shooting at? What's going on? Huh? Hitting a cash? Maybe? Go on. Bloody crash helicopter could have someone in it. Still sniping. Those shots kind of might have came from this cache location, you know. I think they did. I think they did. I think someone camped it, maybe. already killed somebody. Which exit am I going to? It's a little house or a tent or something just there on the hill. Is it or is that a shadow? Really that's the only way I can go and get out. So I'll start pushing across now. This radiation's going to be here in a minute. Don't do that. Move your marker, you idiot. You don't know where you're going. Don't be in a stupid, janky spot. It is. In a stupid janky spot that you can't see. Oh, I think it's underground. Is there an underground passage around here somewhere? You know what I mean? Look, look, I can't see it. Is there an underground passage around here somewhere? This will be the second cache I've found in the last two days, or cache, uh, supposed location, that doesn't have a cache in it. And I'm going to die because of it. Oh, oh, oh. they got to mark those better. That's the second time I haven't been able to get a cache because I go to the location and it's invisible. Can't find the body thing. they got to mark those better besides just the little square that pops up when you get near one. Like, there's no underground tunnels over there. But 
I know of. Oh look, there's an exit camp, but no way, Jose. That doesn't happen in this game. You're being paranoid. Can you come around from the other side of this exit down here somewhere, maybe? Just happened to be exiting just before me. Unless he's up on the hill just there. Yeah, that's the second time in the last two days I've found a cache. The other one was in um, Sagbrook. Near this little uh, sh broken down shack underneath the balcony ledge of it. Couldn't find it. And that one there, the marker on the map showed that it was in amongst uh, a little rocky waterfall. So I think they need to mark those just a little bit better. Level 16! How many nails? 41. What did I get? Oh, don't bug out on me again, game. Thought it was going to crash on me again. What's this? Loadout ticket. Especially shards for eliminations and shootouts. Cool, nice pair of new gloves. Besides your fight club ones. There you go, something to wear to the wintry maps. Yeah, how many nails have I got? I think Ada's just going to have to be happy with uh, what I give her. 114. I'm not going to grind out for 300. 114 will do you, Ada. If you're not happy with that, I'll keep them myself if you don't want them. Okay. I'll make good use of them. I've got shelter upgrades I need to do. 300 was a stretch. You knew it. Putting an order in like that for one guy. You knew it was a stretch. That's going to do it. Too much of a grind for those damn nails, man. The percentage of those has been dropped for the day. Too many Outlanders snapping them up for themselves. So let's get changed. There we go. Some jobs I've got to do around the house. Didn't get hardly anything. Got out with a useless supply drop. Can't win them all. Outwitted a couple of uh, fools. So I think that's going to be the theme of the day. When you can outwit people that like it. The one to exit camp. Let's take two on that. I mean, you can outwit people that want to exit camp and chase you around the map after using a single detector and just rush you like they don't care, and you can still get out of there alive. It's a win. Anyway, hey. see you later. I've got to fix this toilet once and for all.